hardwood moldings, granite countertops. It was $150,000 all in. If you build it, they will vote? How's this for getting your point across to lawmakers? A couple weeks ago, we actually, AARP put an ADU on the Capitol campus down in Olympia so legislators could actually see it. So they can see it and they can consider the question, should ADUs, short for accessory dwelling units, be allowed in every Washington neighborhood along with duplexes and fourplexes? AARP thinks so. Essentially, these are separate living spaces on the same property as an existing house. Proponents say it'll help ease skyrocketing home prices and homelessness. We're at a really in tremendous crossroads um, to really think about housing thoughtfully. It comes after it was predicted that Washington will need to add more than a million homes over the next 20 years, with more than half of them affordable. This Washingtonian supports the bill. I have a disability. Um, so that uh, re, you know, limit my ability to find work uh, in my local Skagit area. Uh, I would appreciate housing close to light rail or bus rapid transit, and I believe this bill is a vehicle to that. House Bill 1110 passed overwhelmingly on a bipartisan 75 to 21 vote. Still, the pushback's been strong from local leaders like the mayor of Kent. It will also require significant upgrades to existing water and sanitary sewer systems and will result in dramatic increases increases in utility fees. The mayor of Woodinville thinks the choice should be local. This bill ignores local conditions and context and threatens to destroy good local planning, even when that local jurisdiction is already accommodating massive growth. The bill still must pass the state Senate. So what do you think about all this? I posted a poll on my Twitter page and the results were relatively split after about 500 votes. Most of you said 57% uh, of you said no, you do not believe duplexes and fourplexes should be allowed in every neighborhood in Washington, that those decisions should be made locally. Reporting live in studio, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.